Daisy mods. You want them? How do you install them? Well, what we need to do is obviously launch Steam and then do a little search for Daisy here. Uh, just make sure you've got tools selected. Okay, we'll do Daisy because we want to make sure we've got the Daisy server there and that it's also installed and ready to launch. And just go back to Daisy because we're going to get on with installing the mods themselves. So just click on Workshop. Do a search for the mod you want, which in my case is going to be the Compass mod. I'm not going to do a search for the Earplugs mod because that's already on my PC. Okay. And where's the one I want? There it is, it's the one I want. So I'm just gonna click on it actually. Let's click on that. And I'm just gonna subscribe. And there you go, it's downloading already. Oh, in fact, it's already downloaded. Now bear in mind that some mods can be quite complex to install and they may have a bunch of dependencies. In fact, let me show you an example. Let's go back here. I think if we go back, yeah, prep, yeah, especially with the maps. As you can see, you'd have to subscribe to it, but then here's a dependency, so you'd click on there, subscribe to this as well, and also you'd have to read up a lot on what the actual mod requires, any further instructions. So just be aware of that. Some mods are very easy to install, others a little bit more difficult. Right, so now let's get on with moving the mods that we want to play, which is going to be the earplugs mod and the compass mod. Let's move those from the actual game itself over to our server and we do it the following way. So let's just go back to the library and we can actually launch DayZ itself because there's two ways of grabbing the file. So I'm going to click play DayZ. Okay, and now we go to mods. And now we can do a search for earplugs. Actually, it's right there. And we can now click on this chevron click on these three dots and then we open the folder in windows explorer i understand so now i can copy this mod actually i can copy the compass mod as well at the same time so select both using control key and just copy And now we need to paste them in the DayZ server directory. So let's get rid of this and this. Go to server. Click on the little cog, the management cog here. Go to manage. Go to browse local files. Should come up. Oh, there it is. Let's bring it up. And then we'll just paste it here. There we go. So now we need to grab the key files from the mods and put them into the keys folder here. So we'll just drill down here, click on that, go to keys, copy, go back up here and we'll just paste. Just to show you, as you can see, there's one of the keys. And then we do the same again with our other mod. Keys, copy, go back again, paste. And there's both our keys. And now we can move on to the next step, which is to create and edit the batch file that we use to start the DAISY server. So here's my batch file. Let me open it up with Notepad++. And what you'll see is it's actually a little template. In fact, I've created this and I've put a copy of this underneath the video in the description. So all you've got to do is select it. So we'll select everything. Just copy it. And just for example's sake, when you create it, just go paste that there. When you do the save, just make sure, you can give it any name you want, just make sure you save it as a .bat, which is a batch file. So we'll save it. And this happens to just get created down here again. You may create it anywhere else, but just make sure you pop it here in the DAISY server directory. All right, so let's edit that batch file. So again, I'm just gonna open it up with Notepad++. And we'll just go through it. So as you can see, it's a server name. This doesn't really matter. It's just for this batch file. When it launches, you'll see this great message. The actual server name itself is in this file here. And I'll just show you that quickly. That file, of course, being here. And we'll just open that up as well with Notepad++. So there's the name of my server. This is what you'll see in the DAISY launcher close that because we don't actually need it. Anyway, let's carry on with oh, 
the single player bat file that we're going to edit. So now what we do need is this. This is the path to that file. Okay. So the path to the D server dz.config on your PC. So let's get that now. And it's right here. Just copy the address because we're in the directory. Copy. And then we will now paste it here. Okay. We need another backslash. I'll just pop that there. So that's the path to server dz.cfg. And now we can get on with the important bit, which is adding the mod. So let's do that now. I'll just minimize this. Go over to earplugs. We'll do a quick rename, copy that whole name, bring this back up, I'm going to pop it in here for mod one, like so. And if I was just going to use the one mod, then I'd, I'd get rid of this, leave it like that. But I'm going to use two mods, so I'm using the semicolon as a separator. And I'll do the same thing again. I go to the compass mod, do a quick rename, select it, copy, bring back notepad plus plus, put it here, boom, sorted. And now we can save and we can launch the file, which we can do by just double clicking on the batch file. There we go. It's launching. Click on this window here. Just going to stretch this out. As you can see, it's starting to load the mods in. You probably see it right here. Earplugs and the scanner mod compass are being loaded in. Just got to wait a bit. Right, so I sped that up. But once you see entering in saved process, you're ready to go. So to bring Steam back up, go to DayZ, hit play, play DayZ. Go to servers. Go to LAN, and there's my server. Click on this little down arrow, or chevron, whatever you want to call it. And it says two mods. So let's go to more details. And they're ready to load. Let's set up the mods and join. Right, so here we are in game. So let's see if our mods work. So to bring up the earplugs, it's press N. There we go, we can see our earplugs, and I'm a little bit lost, so I need the compass. I'll press H, and there we go. That's uh, a little bit intrusive, isn't it? Let's make it smaller. Yeah, there you go. That's all there is to installing mods. Hope you found that useful. If you've got any questions, hit me up in the comment section down below. But for now, just click to watch another video.